seven. Tyler Berger finished fourth last year at this weight class. Now he's in the finals against number one ranked Jason Null. I mentioned he was going for his third Big Ten title. No, not so. He was injured last year, had the default, but he is going for his third NCAA title. He'd like to get his second Big Ten wrestling title right now. Going up against Tyler Berger, who he's beat earlier in the year in the dual meet. Take a look how they got here. Nolf, it's a pretty solid decision there. His Peroni won by fall, and then the 7 to 1 over Pantaleo, who can be amazingly tough to go ahead and score points on. Berger beat Belize, and uh, nice decision over Van Brill as well. Tough weight class. Good nice balance in here. Nolf, right in a shot, right there. Easily sweeps that leg, and the leg's up in the air. It was 10 to 4 earlier uh, when they wrestled in the dual meet on January 20th. And Berger has not lost since. Made his way to the finals. And he uh, gets right to work. Jason Nolf, the two-time NCAA champion, three-time finalist from Yatesboro, Pennsylvania, Catanning High School. Making a real big physical statement there on the edge of the mat and also jumping out there with him. You know, Nolf is one of the quicker guys in the country. He gets it, that, that shot off with his right leg. And, you know, Berger's got pretty good offense himself. Nolf right back in on that leg again. Nice shin whizzer there by Berger, but he comes up to his feet. Nolf does. Got his hands locked the correct way right there. The out, outside palm over the top right there. Now he's going to run the pipe. Trying to get Berger off balance. Gets his hips a little bit closer. Can he go ahead and sweep it again? Right there. Just an all timing right there. Again, what makes that move impressive is that he's going for that sweep, not when the foot is on the ground, but when the opponent brings his his uh, leg up and he's doing all, the opponent's doing all the work, they're jumping off off the ground. All you gotta do is change the direction of his fall with the sweep. Going nowhere. Get, get, relax, Tyler Berger, a senior out of Prineville, Oregon. One of the best to come out of Oregon in a long time. Top recruit nationally, comes to Nebraska and is certainly made an impact on the program and right now he's got his hands full against the three-time all-american two-time ncaa champion jason nolf and nolf has wasted no time getting to his offense and what's been impressive about it Berger basically shading that that left knee uh, pad right now he doesn't want to step in too close he's trying to keep it away from especially from distance but nolf's going to drive back in on a double seen that a few times comes right into an elbow tie Nolf the first of six wrestlers with the blue and white singlet. The Nittany Lions clinched their sixth title in the, the Kale San Sanderson era. The sixth Big Ten title. They've won seven out of their last eight NCAA titles. And it will be Nolf and five other Nittany Lions the rest of the way. Now this is really the, the heart of their order. It's so unique. And the guys on this team with Joseph, Nolf, Nickel, Mark Hall, all guys that can possibly win three national titles in their career have that type of uh, success. I was in their wrestling room a few months back here and I said, hey champ, and about every about four or five. <laughs> Everybody well, looked about around. Like eight or That's nine good. guys look at you. That's yeah. good. Well, they call old Jason Nolf the creator because he's comfortable being uncomfortable. And he'll go places other people don't go, and he likes to put you in places you do not want to be. Short time there. Again, still on his offense the whole time. Berger doing a nicer job of, of, of you know, keeping Nolf at distance, but not backing Under up. Under control. Under control. At the end of the period, a 4-2 lead by Jason Nolf. The leader of the pack for the Red, Nittany Lions. Red's going down. Nothing stupid, guys. And those Lions are out ahead, clinching their Big Ten title. Ohio State comfortably in second. We'll get the runner-up trophy. And Minnesota out in front now. And they still have a wrestler left. So does Iowa. And... Uh, this is Nebraska's only hope to put more points on the board 
in the finals, but like Jim mentioned earlier, we've got third and fourth and fifth and sixth matches going on worth a point each, and so there's a lot that can happen in these next uh, six matches. Look at uh, that back bow effort there by, he's got that ankle wrapped at the shoelace, he's gonna look for the giant step. Burton doing a nice job of getting his head up now. Now he's in an ankle pass situation. Oh, now that's, got a, the referee's gonna be on this because that was an effort to take it beyond its, where it was intended to go, that ankle. Nolf not only successful on the mat, but in the classroom, he's received the physics award from Penn State as a top physics uh, student, a 4.5 GPA. You just, you're amazed by uh, this young man's leadership. And like you said, he's not alone. It's a stable full of uh, great wrestlers that uh, have really gelled over the last few years under Sanderson's leadership. Yeah, and those, those single leg finishes right there are just world class. I mean, just going ahead and, and that, that technique that he has right there. And Berger's not a, you know, he's a man with a lot of balance. And you get the real strong sense that there's some bad blood going on right now with these two guys. It's a hard physical match. Short time in the second period. 6-3 score, already 224 of riding time. And today's State Farm State of Success is Jason Nolf, that guy right there, because he is in the lead as the all-time pin leader for the Penn State Nitt Nittany Lions over his teammate, Bo Nickel. And there's, uh, there's this match. There's five more to go, so not out of the question that Bo Nickel could pass him, but I don't think we're done with falls by uh, Jason Nolf either. He's today's State Farm State of Success for his success as a pinner. The all-time leader in the Penn State program. I love watching Jason Nolf, how he just changes his lead leg so often in, in a match. It seems like he can, can go left lead and right lead. And always very quick to that shot right there. That's his bread and butter. He's able to cut Berger off there with his... Berger has the ability against most opponents to get to the leg. It's a really nice quick finish to the far ankle. You're not getting anything off. One of the things people forget is funky, as uh, Nof can be. I mean, he has got the best fundamentals out there. It always comes down to great execution, and there it was again, Jim. Yep, to your point, you know, he comes up always on top of the scrambles. Now he's working for potentially a near side cradle. But, you know, I, I, when he first came in, he was just so solid. I mean, he had the he had the other things, the basics down, that he could go ahead and spend the time trying to be creative, and and that's I've heard many coaches say that he's the guy that uh, that you know they turn on the film right, the DVR to be able to see what he's doing. Back in another shot again, run the pipe, and now come back up, right, driving through, just having fun, Jason Nolf. Last year, he had to default out, prepare himself for the NCAAs. Didn't get a chance to get to the finals this year. He comes back and wins his second Big Ten championship. A dominant performance by the champs, 12 to 4 with riding time. Jason Knoll, the first Nittany Lion today to win a Big Ten championship. A lot of respect there shown by Tyler Berger, knowing that he's up against one of the great ones there in J Jason Nolf. Take a look at the highlights of this match. And you know, just even right from the beginning, this nice post to that single right there, coming up to a beautiful finish. And he hit the same finish several times. If Berger could maybe stop that, that might be a, him getting in on that left leg. Thanks, Wonderful job by Jason Nolf. Let's go to Shane, who's with Jason. Jason, you are one of the most intense competitors inside that circle, but you make it look so effortless. How do you deal with nerves and anxiety? Do you have any? 
Uh, I just pray that God turns my nerves into energy and I feel that spirit. And now I'm just grateful to compete here. Obviously, I want to win every time. But I'm, just, I'm, I'm really happy to be in a position I'm in around the coaches I'm around and around the teammates I'm around as well.